Welcome to Great Books for Thinkers and Seekers. Today's book opens with My father had a small estate in Nottinghamshire. I was the third of five sons. He sent me to Emmanuel College in Cambridge at 14 years old, where I resided three years and applied myself close to my studies, but the charge of maintaining me, although I had a very scanty allowance, being too great for a narrow fortune, I was bound apprentice to Mr. James Bates, an eminent surgeon in London, with whom I continued four years. This classic satire, published in 1726 by an Anglo-Irish writer and clergyman, is a famous four-part tale of voyage and adventure to mostly fictional locations that is often mistakenly classified as a children's story. The author claimed that he wrote this book to vex the world rather than divert it, a sophisticated satire of both human nature and the literary subgenre of traveler's tales. Rather than proposing solutions, he succeeds in exposing ills, injustices, and idiocies, many of which continue to plague our world today. Its major themes include whether power or morality should govern society, why humans are corrupt, how circumstances can alter perspectives, and whether ancients or moderns have superior ideas. This book has appealed widely across the centuries in its attempt to deflate human pride in spite of often portraying an overly critical view of humanity. Widespread cultural influences include original words and terminologies along with many sequels, imitations, and adaptations. The author's self-penned epitaph includes the line, Go forth, voyager. They have a notion when people are met together, a short silence does much improve conversation. This I found to be true, for during those little intermissions of talk, new ideas would arise in their minds, which very much enlivened the discourse. Every man desires to live long, but no one wishes to be old. I winked at my own littleness, as people do at their own faults. This great book for thinkers and seekers is Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. See you next time.